So for today's video, I will be discussing the uh, responsibilities mo as a healthcare virtual assistant. Ano yung mga ina-expect mo pwedeng gawin or ano yung mga gagawin. Next would be the requirements. Ano yung mga kailangan? Um, ano yung mga minimum and recommended system requirements? Kung pwede ba ang mga LTE, ganun, or mga prepaid Wi-Fi. So, yun. Doon lang iikot yung ano natin, yung video natin. Okay? This is NLBTYNG. This is your friend, Noel B. Welcome back to my channel. Click subscribe and hit the bell. Okay. So, for today's video, I will be um, discussing... Oh, Teacher ka, discussing. So for today, I will be um, i-explain ko more yung sa overview na part ng Hello Rage kasi ang dami nagtatanong. And again, I'm making this video kasi pa isa isa silang nagtatanong sa akin and I have to make this video para isahan na lang din sa mga nagtatanong. So okay, first, uh, we will be talking more dun sa overview ng um, Hello Rage and doon sa my part ng application which is uh, ito. I will show you in the screen. First is yung overview since, okay, andun yung description. Basahin nyo na lang. Then, move na tayo sa you will have the following responsibilities. Ang daming nagtatanong, ano ba ang gagawin? Parehas ba tayo ng gagawin sa ginagawa mo? Something like that. Which is, hindi. Hindi tayo para parehas. Depending on the needs of the client. Again, if I talk of client, ang minimin ko na client is yun yung magiging boss natin na nasa US or nasa Canada or nasa Australia. So for that one, if I say client, client meaning yun yung mga boss natin. HVA meaning tayo yun which is a virtual assistant and si Hello Rage siya yung middleman. So basically, HVA, Hello Rage, client or boss. So sabi dito, you will have the following responsibilities. Live actual scribing. Anong meaning nun? Usual, uh, ang makakarelate dito is usually mga nurses natin, yung mga nagcha-charts. Uh, ito yung live virtual scribing, meaning, uh, andito si Doc, meron siyang pasyente, ina-assess niya. If you are familiar with the SOAP or the SOAP note, Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan, yun yung meaning ng mostly ginagawa ng live actual scribing. I will discuss uh, yung SOAP na yon sa uh, other part, which is, uh, matatakal rin natin yung qualifying examination ni Hello Rage. Next is attend to patient communications and interaction. Phone, email, or video. For example, si patient may tatanungin regarding sa mga uh, regarding, basta magtatanong si patient, maski anong tatanungin niya. Pwede kanyang tawagan, which is usually yan yung mga phone operators natin, sila yung mga uh, mga admin tasks, ganun, or email pwede din. Video, in a sense na, for example, akin to, yung video na ganito, naka-on kam ako, nakikita ko ni patient, nakikita ko rin siya. And then next, respond to inquiries about healthcare services or tasks. So, basically, more of ano to, more of um, admin job na part. Next is gather medical or insurance information. Gather medical kasi, um, uso kasi dun sa US yung kailangan matransfer yung medical records mo from a certain facility or sa ibang doctors. Kailangan may pipirmahan kasi dun, which is yun yung gagawin mo. Parang, you will communicate na, okay, patient, you need to sign this one kasi magre-request tayo ng medical records mo from your um, primary care or to specialist, ganon. Um, to, ano, to elaborate that part, ang meaning kasi, uh, di ba, dito kasi sa Philippines, parang, ay, ay, hindi ko kasi, or bag na, wait lang. Doon na lang sa US. Ang practice kasi sa US is, meron kang PCP or primary care provider. Anong meaning nun? For example, sa kanya ka muna pupunta, o, oh, magpapa-annual physical examination ka, or magpapa-check up. Ngayon, na-found out ni doctor mo na kailangan kanyang i-refer to a let's just say, pulmonologist or cardiologist. Ang mangyayari ngayon yan, pag pumunta ka na doon, for example, pumunta ka na kay cardiologist mo or pulmonologist, sabi ni cardiologist, uh, magre-request tayo ng medical records mo. So meaning, um, gagawa ka ng, uh, may pipirmahan si patient, then from your cardiologist, ibibigay niya yun kay 
primary care provider, para si primary care provider, ibibigay niya yung records kay um, cardiologist. Yun yun, yun yung gather medical information. Or next is insurance information. Doon kasi sa US, di ba, uh, healthcare nila is uh, more of insurance. Parang uh, dito papasok yung copay, um, out of pocket, mga ganun, mga deductibles, which is, malalearn nyo yan sa training. So, no need, uh, wag nyo mo na yung isipin apart. Next is manage appointment calendar. Ano yung manage appointment calendar? So, more of like mga scheduling to, kung um, yung kailan ang follow up ni patient, parang ganun. Next is update patient chart record. So, dito is, medyo related din siya kay live scribing. No more of like charts. Which is, again, malalarn yung lahat to pag nag-training kayo kay Halorage. Next is, um, research health for information, handle, administ uh, handle administrative tasks, back office, in the medical setting, fax, file management, transcription. More of like mga ano to, mga admin tasks. Next is, punta tayo dun sa requirements. Dun sa requirements na part, you will be successful in this role if you have the following qualifications. You are a graduate of any allied health profession. Anong meaning nun? If kailangan ba na license ka? Kailangan ba na nag-take ka ng board exam? Dapat ba may PRC ka? No. Kailangan lang is graduate ka of any uh, allied health profession. For example, pharmacy, nursing, PT, medtech, um, radtech, Bio, ano pa ba? Basta lahat ng alam. Yung mga usually na ginagamit ng mga pang pre yung mga ganun, pang malakas. Actually, meron ako mga kabatch na former med student sila. Next is, uh, mga psychology pwede din. Next is, you can speak and write well in English, proficient with medical terminologies and practices. You can speak in English, the um, meaning is, good communication skills, uh, Okay, need ba na dapat perfect yung subject verb agreement mo or ano? Parang, um, siguro highly appreciated. Pero sa terms na you can speak the language, you can understand, you can communicate, you can express your thoughts, okay na yun. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be, to be, to be. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be very intelligent uh, sa ganitong aspects sa English na part na yung tipong perfect yung English mo, yung tipong ganun. Hindi. Actually, mas magmamatter dito yung communication skills mo. Even if you do not, uh, you cannot perfect the language itself. For example, ako, hindi ako magaling sa English. I mean, hindi ako magaling sa mga, for example, I always speak grammatically incorrect or something like that. But I was able to, ano naman, na, I can able to communicate naman, parang ganun. No? So, yun na Parang yun, oh, example, yun na lang, parang I'm not really good at it uh, sa perfect English, sa grammar, but I can communicate with English. So, syempre, I mean, yung ginagawa ko, check out then So, meaning, I, uh, meron talaga akong encounter sa pasyente every day So, I have to communicate in English. Pero, dapat ba na, dapat ba na super galing ako with the accent, na neutral accent or American accent? Hindi naman ganun. Kung feel mo mag-neutral accent or American accent or mag-British accent ka pa, so you can portray, then why not, di ba? Next is, write well in English. Ito naman is usually pag uh, kailangan mo na yung scribe ka, yung, so yung nag-note na ikaw yung gumagawa nung basta sa writing na part. Next is, proficient with medical terminologies and practices. Hindi siya super like, ano, uh, actually, with this one naman, meron na tayong background kasi eh, may background na tayo sa health. So, I think that's, ano, that's enough. You don't have to be perfect with it. You don't have to, uh, parang to have a mastery of this one. Hindi. Hindi naman siya kailangan. And next would be, um, internet subscription is speed at least 10 Mbps. Ito may nagtatanong, accepted po ba yung, ano, yung, yung prepaid Wi-Fi? Actually, no. Dapat ang, primary source of uh, internet mo is yun nga, DSL or fiber only. Example, PLDT, Globe, Smart, Converge, yung mga monthly subscription natin na Wi-Fi yung, uh, yung as in literal Wi-Fi. Tapos, uh, 
uh, what if, ang tanong is, what if wala pa akong wifi pero magpapakabit ako? I think okay yan. Basta sabihin mo lang doon sa resume mo na magpapakabit na ako ng wifi. Ganito kasi magtitraining ka naman. And uh, isasalang rin naman tayo kay IT. Icha-check naman ni IT yon. Next is, um, have reliable computer hardware and software will be verified our tech team. Ito yung sinasabong ito-check na IT. Kasi may specifications si laptop, uh, which is i-discuss ko later. Um, ah, sige, puntahan na natin. Ay, hindi, mamaya na para dare-dare-dare-cho. Which is, uh, have a reliable computer hardware. Dapat mamit mo yon kasi pag hindi, it has something to do with dream. Kasi pag, syempre, pag oh, kailangan mabilis mag-load yung laptop, wala nga naman yung super, yung ang baba ng RAM, tapos pinag-clinic mo yung isang app, kailangan pa ng 5 minutes bago mag-open. Hindi naman, ano yun, di ba? Hindi naman yun maganda. So, uh, dapat mamit rin natin yung stand, uh, standard na yun. Kasi nga, dito rin kasi tayo, ano, ito yung magiging bread and butter natin. So, we have to meet those standards. Next is have a webcam. Actually, yung webcam ng laptop po, yun na yung ginagamit ko. Okay naman siya. But, if hindi siya pasok, you can buy sa Shopee yung mga webcam na mga HD na may 1,000 something, basta ganun. HD? Ba? Ganun ba? Basta yun yung mga, ano, yun yung mga bilhin nyo. Marami yun sa Shopee. Next is headset, noise cancelling. Kailangan kasi yun para if ever, kahit may nagpipwentuhan dyan sa tabi mo, hindi nila marinig. Uh, kailangan yung mga may noise cancelling talaga na ano noise uh, cancelling na headphones. Noise cancelling, noise. O, oh, basta yun na yun. Gets nyo na yun. Meron din siya Shopee yan. Ang bili ko na akin is 1.6. 1.6, Pero, mas mura sa, ano, sa physical store. 1.2 lang yun. Logitech yung brand sa akin. Next, with neutral background and lighting, ah, ito. Uh, dapat, yung background mo is, actually, dito ako na nagte-training or dito na part. Kasi, okay yung Um, okay, itong wall. Yun na yung ano ko, background ko nun. Pero ngayon, dun na ako, white drain. Pero, I can use, ano na kasi, I can use virtual background na sa work ko. Pero dun sa training, you cannot use virtual background. Dapat, um, totoong background mo talaga to. But, curtains, pwede ba? Pwede. Yung tela na white, pwede din. Next is, able to work night, 11pm to 8am Philippine time. Ito, Again, wala pong bayad ang training. Ang daming nagtatanong, super clear naman doon sa isang video na um, walang bayad ang training. So ito, minimum and recorded system requirements. Minimum, ang operating system mo dapat is Windows 10, Home Pro, 64-bit gen. Basta ang operating system mo Windows 10, tapos, um, sa Apple naman pwede. Pwede yung mga Apple. May mga naka-Macbook akong kasama eh. But I just don't know kung anong specific na uh, model. Pero, hindi ko sure. Feeling ko hindi naman yun yung mga updated na mga Macbook ng mga kasama ko. I'll just gonna ask. Uh, kung natatanong ko, I'll just insert here. Pero, um, basta Mac pwede din. Next is, uh, Intel... Core i3, at least 6 gen and above. Yun nga, dapat ito yung mga pagbibili kayo ng laptop, sabihin nyo rin ito na um, i-core. Yung akin, i-core 3 lang, which is okay naman. Next is memory at least 6 GB RAM. I'm not so sure kung may 6 GB RAM talaga na nabibili. For example, bumili ka ng laptop tapos 6 GB RAM talaga siya. I think wala. Meron lang is 4, 8. Pero, for example, kung yung laptop mo is 4, pwede mo siyang ipa-upgrade. May, syempre, may bayad. Punta ka lang sa mga kung saan mo binili yung laptop mo, or I don't know kung pwede pumunta ka din kung kahit hindi mo doon binili yung laptop mo. Na tinanong ko rin yan, for example, 4 gig lang yung laptop ko, pwede ko siyang ipa-upgrade. Pero hindi ko pa na-try. Pero sinabi, doon sa store, pwede. Next is, internet subscription. Ito na nga. Yung internet subscription, dapat, um, dapat, wifi. Mga PLDT, Converge, Globe Smart. Ganun. Next is, yun yung minimum requirement. Ito naman yung recommended. Win, uh, same pa rin, Windows 10. Next is CPU, i5 8 gen. Pero again, yung akin is i3, which is accepted naman. Memory, at least 8GB RAM yun. Ito, 
uh, 8GB RAM yung akin. So, mabilis siya mag-load. Kahit ilang apps naka-open, okay siya. LTE connection is not accepted. So, yun. Hindi accepted. Accepted lang siya as a backup internet. Ganun. Next is LTE connection. Uh, peripherals needed. Ito nga. Headset with mic. Um... Plantronics Audio 628 Stereo USB Headset. Marami tong nakikita sa ano, basta marami tong nakikita sa um, Shopee. Okay na yung TIG 1216. Pero kung afford mo yung mga TIG 3K, why not? So that's all. Thank you for watching. Is If you still have questions regarding uh, paano mag-apply and basta anything related with HelloRage or being a healthcare virtual assistant, Feel free to comment them. I will answer them when I have time. And then, basta kung may mga questions kayo, feel free lang. Ask them. Tapos, I have other videos uh, regarding sa HelloRage. I will just put the link below. Um, click nyo na lang. Then, kung may mga tanong pa kayo, yun lang. Feel free. And, for, for, para sa mabilis ang answer, you can follow me on TikTok kasi doon mabilis ako. Mabilis lang yun. Kasi, mag click ko lang din. Mag-video na ako. I can uh, definitely easy, um, parang easy answer lang dun na part. So, sa messenger kasi ang tagal pa kailangan pang type which is, marami, may, marami rin naman kasi ang ginagawa sa live. So, yun. Sa TikTok na lang. So, that's all for today. And again, apply na and let's earn $7 per hour. Bye!